Hey guys, hey my cuties and beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog is gonna be a little bit of everything. Right now I'm currently at work, but I was in the shower this morning trying to get ready to come to work to make sure I was here on time. And lo and behold, I cracked my nail. That shit hurts so much, it's not even funny. So just now I was in the locker room trying to figure out a way to get some of my left ill. Okay, my skin gets dry in the winter, so don't come for me. I was trying to figure out a way to get the rest off. Do you know what the E-train is? 53rd. Thanks. You're welcome. I was trying to get the rest off and it was hurting like hell, like cause it actually ripped my nail of itself because as you can see my nails is like I don't know if you guys can see it's just as tall as the tips and look pain if you know you know if you're a female you wear tips and it ever cracked before you know what time it is like I feel like taking all of them off and just saying you know what back to short nails cause this shit is painful as fuck but yeah I'm off to get some breakfast uh uh I'm hungry, so I'll probably get like an egg and cheese on a raisin bagel. And let's hope me and the deli people don't gotta have have it out because every time I go there, I tell him I want one egg fried hard with cheese, and he always tries to give me my egg runny because you can still see the yolk. I can't eat my my stuff like that. There's no way. So. Yeah, what are you guys doing today? really 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 coarse so it doesn't hold styles for that long but every time I do it I do try to do it in an updo because I don't like random people coming up to me playing in my hair like hey your hair look nice you know how girls be like hey your hair. no because one time my manager at my old job Target she came up to me and she was like oh my god I like your hair slapped the shit out of her hand just by reflexes because I'm like what are you doing touching my hair like girl everybody knows that's a girl code two girl clothes you don't break you don't touch the person's hair and you don't touch their face I don't know where your hands been and then I don't know if you're trying to wish bad on me and if if any of you guys are Caribbean you know how it goes basically Caribbeans have this saying that you know you don't let people put their hand in your head because you don't know what kind of vibes they have or energy and that can cause your hair to fall out and baby girl it took me a while for my hair to get like this i'm six years in with my locks started from scratch so yeah don't put your shit in my hand in my head please just don't do it and when i slapped her like i felt a little bad and i'm like oh i'm sorry i'm like i didn't mean to but i don't like people putting their hand in my head and she was like oh, okay but well, she was like shocked too but next time you'll know miss don't put your hand in my head. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hate winter. Jeez. Oh, I hate the winter. I like the fall because you can wear nice, well, not really the fall, more like spring or summer. You can wear nice, cute clothes and stuff like that. Yeah. This actually the first time I'm vlogging like early in the morning on my way to the store because I just felt the need to come and talk to my people, my subbies, my subscribers, my supporters. I love you guys so much. Um, yeah, vlogging and walking in the street is not really the smartest thing, but you know, no one's why don't hit me, I'm good. You can see the reflector, postal gear. You know what time it is, federal property. Juno. Yeah, so this is the place. It's called the mill. Breakfast is bomb. Like I said, let's hope me and him don't have to get into it. I agree. Thank you. 
little bake called bacon. It's not a rush, so they should make it my thing. If I choose to come here every day, me and him is going to get into it. Like, why don't people listen? Like, do you guys have that problem too? Like, you go into the store, you tell them exactly what you want, exactly how you want it. Because at the end of the day, they're providing the services, but I'm providing the coin. So if your customer is asking you or telling you exactly what they want, why are you giving them anything other than what they ask for? Like, I'll wait the f every morning. When I do, do decide to go there, I probably go there like two times a week or something. It's not every every day. If I, it's only if I don't have time or I feel like just you know eating breakfast and then I'll probably work through lunch, maybe have a snack or two, granola bar or something, and then you know eat when I get home. And it's always the same guy. He has a nasty attitude, and every time you tell him what you want, he always want to go back and forth with you. So I said, can I have? one egg fried hard with cheese on a raisin bagel what you think happened i got one egg fried hard raisin bagel no cheese so my ass would have went to the register and told them like hey i got all my egg and cheese on a raisin bagel one egg and then they would have charged me 327 but where's my cheese so i would have been paying for cheese and me ain't got no cheese no that's not how it works I'm paying for what I'm supposed to get, so just give me what I asked for. Like, it's that simple. So just now, I, the, I guess they were trying to take a quick fast to throw it in the bag. So the lady grabs it from me, and she tries to put it in the bag, and I took it back from her, and I opened it. And I said, let me see if the egg is really fried hard, because the last time I asked, the egg was not fried hard, and it was runny. You could see all the yolk. It was disgusting. So just imagine biting into that. It's like, so I opened it, and it, egg was fried properly my raisin bagel was there no cheese like seriously that's like giving a mouse say oh like telling the mouse hey your dinner is served where's the cheese please like come on anyway and I'm headed back to the building to show you guys my area so this is the area where I work at all the tall ass buildings got little vendors you know the halal food and you got little breakfast spots coffee donuts bagels then you have the banks and you have like you 
know, like little eating areas and stuff. Got the train station. So yeah. <laughs> when we're walking, and we're walking. <laughs> Under the tapping or whatever the hell they call this, and you feel like water just drop on your face. Ugh. That just happened to me like, bruh, please. Just please. So, <laughs> it's just like a walk and talk with me, postal time. Well, just a walk and talk with me, pretty much. Um, yeah, so I'm headed back into the building. And I guess I will check in with you guys on a later note. Because I'm at the bus on the sandwich because you know, she, she hungry. She's so hungry. Yeah, she's so hungry. And she need to eat. Okay. So, check back in with you. You know what your hair get low. You know that I get for you. <laughs> so, wing it. Like, what's that? What's that? What's that on my neck? Oh, that's just my hair. <laughs> All right. Um, don't be scared to like, comment, and subscribe and share the video if you like it. Cause your girl gonna be too many bloggy vlogs once in a while. All right. Bye, my cuties and beauties. before I went to the store. That's so 